In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can cut and edit your audio files with Ashampoo Music Studio 10. And I will also briefly talk about the enhanced Meta Tag Editor. Check out the links in the description for video tutorials on other Music Studio features. Let's get started. I've already launched the program and opened the editor through Modify Music Editor. I will now import a file using the File Selection dialog. I can also use drag and drop to add files to the editor. In version 10, we've added looped playback to allow for continuous monitoring of specific portions of your files during editing. It's a great help for smooth transitions. Here's how it works. First, let's zoom in to get a better look at the audio data. Next, I select the portion I'd like looped. From now on, whenever the playback marker enters the selection, playback will loop. Playback will continue to work normally outside the selection. I can easily adjust the beginning and end of the loop using the mouse. Initially, clicking the loop button creates a default selection at the current playback position that I can then alter, but I can also drag within the timeline to instantly apply a loop to the range I specify. We've also added a title bar to each audio segment in the editor that not only makes it easier to tell your audio data apart, but also greatly facilitates dragging. Simply click a segment, hold, and then drag to move it around. You can even move it between tracks. Notice the new visual cue whenever dragging leads to overlap. It shows you exactly where your segment will end up when you release the mouse button. Here's how you can use this feedback to make a segment transition into another. Naturally, you can also use cuts to achieve a similar effect. Here's another new feature. I can right-click to bring up a menu with features that apply in the current context. This means I don't have to constantly move my mouse back and forth between the tracks and the toolbar and get work done more quickly. Of course, you don't have to use the context menu, but it's always there when you need it. The new split function allows me to instantly make two cuts based on the beginning and end of my current selection. This is especially useful when I want to apply effects only to the middle portion of a song.
I could still make the cuts individually the traditional way, but this new feature is a handy time saver. Next, let's take a brief look at the enhanced MetaTag editor in Music Studio 10. It now supports 18 different tag types, a lot more than the previous version. We've split the editor into three sections, separating common attributes, like song title and artist, from more in-depth information, like conductor and comments. There's also a section dedicated to lyrics. Furthermore, you can now add not just one, but multiple images and supply your tracks with more comprehensive music artwork. That's it for a brief primer on the most important new features in a Shampoo Music Studio 10. Make sure to check out the links in the description for additional videos on other Music Studio features. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to get notified when we release new content. Until then, thanks for watching, enjoy the program and see you next time.